So your company is looking at Microsoft Teams for your phone system. So maybe your phone system's end of life and you're looking around at maybe hosted VoIP and you guys are already using Microsoft Teams or will be soon, you thought, hey, that might be a great idea. But there's a lot of questions you have about the cost. How much does Microsoft Teams phone system cost? So let me break it down for you. If your company has an E3 license today, so whatever you're paying today for your E3 license, in addition to your E3 license, you're gonna have to pay $8 per user within your company for the phone system feature. And then you're gonna have to pay $4 per month per user for a conferencing feature so that's $12 per month per user so far. And then in addition to that, you're gonna to have to pay $12 per month per user for a calling plan. So a calling plan gives you all the unlimited calling within the United States. If you need an international calling plan, it's approximately $24 per user per month instead of that $12 per user per month. And these are all prices that don't include discounts that you might have on your Microsoft licensing. You might also be wondering what happens to those phones we have around the office that don't have an Office 365 license. So like a kitchen phone or a phone in your conference room. Right now there's no Office 365 E3 license sitting with those. So what do you do about those? Well, they used to make you buy a Microsoft E3 license for those, but they don't do that anymore. Now, it's just an additional SKU you have to purchase on a monthly basis. So for a common area phone, like a kitchen phone, it's another $8 per month per phone. And for say like a conference room phone, it's a little bit more expensive. It's like $15 per month per phone. So those you don't have to get the full E3 license for, plus all those features on top of that, you can just pay the $8 per month or $15 per month per user. Now you might say like, hey, what if we just go to E5? Doesn't E5 cover it? E5 actually includes a phone system feature and a conferencing feature, so those features are covered, but E5 does not include your calling plan feature per user. So even if you have E5, you still have to pay either $12 per month or $24 per month for per user for your calling plan in order to get dial tone. So it almost makes sense to jump to E5 if you're gonna to go to Microsoft Teams phone system. It's only a couple dollars less per month to do that as opposed to adding the phone system feature and the conferencing feature. And then for those couple dollars, you get a bunch of other security features with your Office 365 licensing that you're probably gonna want anyway. So. If I were you, I'd be looking at maybe going to, to an E5 license and then adding your calling plan per user to, in order to, to get the dial tone for your Microsoft Teams phone system. But you may not want to go to Microsoft Direct to do all that. And you might want to look at my, my other videos and that'll tell you a little bit more about direct routing and how you might want to find a third party hosted VoIP provider to buy that calling plan from so that you get better support. So if you wanna learn more about that, look at the other videos, but I hope that gives you some idea about how Microsoft Teams phone system pricing works. If you have any questions, please reach out, either email me or call me. I'm happy to answer any questions you have or give you recommendations on third-party hosted VoIP providers. That's a great option for you to quote instead of going to Microsoft Direct. Have a great day.